What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how you can turn text into neon super quick, super easy. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do once you've created your canvas, and mine is 2000 by 2000, you can go up to your layers, change your background color by double tapping the bottom to select black, hit done. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to our colors. Now this is where you're going to want to select the color for your neon. It can be any color you like. The best colors tend to be for brighter effects is like a light green, a blue and a pink. So I'm going to go ahead and grab sort of a, a greeny blue color. And if you double tap in the top right hand corner, you can select the full pigmented version. Now mine, just in case you're interested, if I go to the value, that's the hex code for my design. I'm then going to go ahead and go to my actions. I'm going to go to add and I'm going to go to the option of add text. Now, If I double tap on the text, I'll get a bunch of options above as well as the keyboard. And I'm going to use the word neon for mine, but you can type in whatever you like for yours. Then double tap on the text. You can then go to your fonts. And this is where the magic happens. If you use this option down here in the bottom right, this is the option of an outline. If you tap on that, you'll be able to turn any font then into an outline design, which then makes the neon effect come to life a lot more. And you can use any font you like. Scroll through all the different fonts and see the difference that it makes. But I'm going to use the option of lemon milk, and then I'm going to increase the size up. Now, if you don't have that font, I will post a link in the description down below where you can learn how to install fonts into Procreate. And I'll also leave a link to the lemon milk actual font itself. But once you've picked a font and scaled it up, hit done and grab your cursor, scale that up and just pop it in the center of your canvas. If you go to snapping and turn on snapping, you'll get some orange lines that run vertically and horizontally through your text once you've positioned it in the middle, letting you know you've hit the center of your design. Tap on your cursor when you're done. We're then going to go ahead and go to our adjustments. We're going to use the option of bloom. Now, straight away, you're not going to see anything, but if I swipe from left to right, I can go up to about 50%. And if I go ahead and lower some of these settings down, like the transition down, you can see that we now start to sort of mess around with the difference in the actual effects of the bloom. Now, you can really blow out the colors quite easily. So you want to drop that to about 35%. I'm going to make my size roughly around about 30 and my transition here, you can scale that up and down until you're happy with the amount of glow from here. Now I'm going to go to about 30, I'm going to go to 40% and then tap on my adjustments. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our layers. We're going to swipe it to the left hand side and duplicate it. The bottom one out of the two, we're going to go to our adjustments, Gaussian blur, swipe from left to right to 50% and tap on your adjustments. That will have added a nice glow in the background. And then one quick, nice and easy extra little step you can do is if you go to your layers, go to the one that's still intact and not blurred out, swipe it to the left and duplicate it. If you then go to your colors, go back to the disc and double tap at the bottom to select black and then go to your layers again. The bottom one out of the two that you just created, tap on it, alpha lock it, tap on it again and fill it and then tap on it and alpha lock it again, turning it off. Go to your adjustments, Gaussian blur, but from left to right, just to add in 2% at the top there and grab your cursor with the uniform option, scale it down a little bit then put it on those orange lines again, smack bang in the center of your design and you'll add a nice little drop shadow in there. And if I zoom in, you can see what we've come up with. And if I go full screen with four fingers, that's it. And that's all you need to learn to turn your text into a neon effect. If you like this video, drop a like down below. Helps the channel out an awful lot. And if you're new here, I post Procreate content every single week. So hit that subscribe button down below. And I also post even more tutorials over on my Patreon. I'll throw up the latest three on the screen now. If you want to come and support me over on Patreon, you get access to even more tutorials every month, exclusive benefits on my Discord server, sneak peeks, early access, and more. So come on over to Patreon. There's a link in the description down below. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.